Hi everyone, it's Shay. Welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new here, I live in Los Angeles, my native language is English, and I'm studying Italian. In today's video, I'm going to go over my tips on how to stay motivated when studying a language. I know that motivation comes and goes for everyone, and there have definitely been times where I have felt unmotivated for a long time, maybe weeks or even months. But in this video, I will go over my tips on ways to stay motivated, but also to revive that motivation if you do happen to lose it. I just have four tips for you today, so let's jump right into them. Tip number one is creating a vision board. And if you've never heard of a vision board, it's basically just like a collection of images or quotes or things that inspire you for a certain goal or vision. A lot of people do this at the beginning of a new year or if they're trying to manifest something. But I think it's also a great way to visualize your motivation for setting a language. So for me, I created a vision board for Italian very early on, but you can do this even if you've been studying for a long time or if you're just starting. I I will go ahead and put my vision board up on the screen and you can see that it has pictures of Italy, some quotes, some things that remind me of Italy, or for example, there's a picture of an apartment because I wanna live in Italy. You can go ahead and create this online. I just use Canva, it's free, and it has a bunch of images already that you can choose from. Or you can make a physical vision board and cut pictures out of magazines or print them out if you want an actual vision board that you can put up in your room or on your desk. But for me, I love creating them digitally, and then I would recommend actually making a size that fits your desktop wallpaper because I love putting vision boards as the background of my desktop or even my phone wallpaper because then you get like a daily reminder of your goals. Definitely have fun with it and with the new year coming up that could be a great way to reset some of your language goals or if you want to take on a new language in the new year this could definitely be a great way to get started and get ready and excited for that. And my second tip is to find a YouTuber or a TV show or something that you can return to in times when you feel really unmotivated. So for me I have some YouTubers that I really love their voice or the way that they speak or their accent or just something about it really makes me excited to learn Italian. I have some YouTubers where I will watch one of their videos and maybe they're living somewhere in Italy that I want to live or I love the way that their accent sounds and I watch one of their videos and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to sound like that when I speak Italian. For some reason, just I have like these go-to people that whenever I hear them speak, it just makes me remember how much I love the sound of Italian and how badly I want to be able to speak as fluently as them. I also was able to do this whenever I watched the show Baby on Netflix. I've watched it so many times just because I think it's a really cool show the shots are really awesome it's very artsy but also like I've said I just love the sound of Italian so if you can find some content like I said whether that's a youtuber tv show even like music or if there's a certain band or musician that really inspires you just find a few of those that you can return to because for me if I'm feeling really unmotivated I'm like well let me just turn on their latest video and then before I know it, I'm down a rabbit hole of watching all of their new content and I'm back to watching Italian videos every day. Or it could even be something as simple as watching travel videos. Sometimes just watching videos of people who live in Italy or are traveling there just re-inspires me because I want to be there so badly. This is kind of a unique tip, but I really do think that it works. So tip number three is definitely a fun one. It is planning out rewards for yourself. If you're the type of person who doesn't really have the self-motivation or determination to study, but you feel like you want to actually work towards some sort of reward, then this is definitely for you. What you can do is set some sort of goal with your studying. Maybe that's studying for 30 minutes every day, or you want to read a book in a month, something like that. Any sort of goal or bigger kind of goal that you have in your language learning journey. You can make rewards for yourself. So maybe if you meet these goals, it could be something as simple as, okay, I studied for an hour today and that's huge for me. So I'm gonna treat myself to my favorite restaurant tonight get it delivered, whatever. Or it could be something bigger. Let's say you finished a full book in one month and that's a huge accomplishment for you. You can buy yourself something really nice, maybe like shoes or a bag or clothing that you've had your eye on. So these can be any sort of rewards that you personally find very exciting, very enticing, and will actually make you want to study and keep up with your study routine. So you could do something where maybe you set a reward for yourself at the end of every week, 
like every single weekend, you do something to treat yourself if you completed all of your tasks. That's just something that is a great way to keep you motivated because you probably really want that reward that's waiting for you at the end of the week. Finally, if you really, really struggle to get yourself to study, maybe you just know you don't have the determination or you're always like, eh, I'll do it later, I'll do it tomorrow definitely find yourself an accountability partner. So one way to do this is you can all connect in the comments and see if you're learning the same language or even if you're learning different languages, just pairing up with people to motivate each other. Maybe you can make groups on Instagram or Facebook and message each other just to make sure that you guys have been studying. Or my 30 day language plan also has access to my Discord server, which is exclusive for the people who bought that plan. And it will be a language community of all these people who bought the plan and want to study together, share resources, share tips, and you can definitely find a study buddy in there. That will be available soon or potentially by the time this video comes out. I will put the information in the description box as well as a code to get $10 off when it first launches. Another option to find a partner is finding an actual native speaker of the language that you're learning on an app called Tandem. It's free and you can just search through a whole list of native speakers to chat with. You can send audio messages. You could even set up a call. You could partner with someone and just ask like, hey, can you just check in with me to see if I've studied today or just encourage me? You can just make any sort of agreement with what you want out of an accountability partner. Just find ways to motivate each other, whether that's simply just sending messages to check in or actually doing virtual study groups. Motivation will always come and go. I know I make videos about language learning, but I definitely have gone through times where I have zero motivation and life gets in the way, work, school, whatever it may be, I totally understand. But just because you've lost motivation temporarily doesn't mean it's gonna last forever and doesn't mean you should give up on the language that you're learning. Just figure out what usually motivates you in other areas of life, whether that's food or, you know, buying gifts for yourself, clothing, doing some self-care kinds of things, going on trips, treating yourself to spa days, whatever it may be, and use those as rewards for doing all your study activities or making a study plan. That's a great way to actually have something to work towards. Sometimes even something as simple as just buying a really nice new notebook to use for your language notes can be re-motivating. And if you need an actual study plan because maybe the activities are doing are kind of boring now, I do have my 30-day language study plan which has all of the activities mapped out for you for 30 days with break days included as well. So you don't have to think or plan whatever activities you're doing that day. You already have a whole study plan mapped out for you. And like I said, you have access to the language community that I created. So all of that is included. I will put all of that information in the description down below. And of course, if you have any questions on that, feel free to comment and I will answer them. So that's all for me today. I hope this video helped you. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok for all sorts of updates on my language learning and of course some study inspiration. I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Thank you.